for Friday. No, I don't want to install my updates right now, Apple. Thank you. Thank you, though. Appreciate the offer. It's like a thousand degrees. I don't know, we gotta keep the house at 40 all summer and then when fall turns around, we gotta keep it at, you know, 75 for some bizarre reason. Can't figure that one out. <laughs> all right, good morning, Tracy. Hey, hey, Bonnie, she's awake. She didn't fall back asleep. Hey, Amory, hey, Vicki, happy Friday. Hey, Patricia, hey, Faith. Good morning, Crystal. <laughs> All right. How about some pumpkin pancakes? That sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds good to me. Doesn't matter if it doesn't sound good to you. It's about me. It's my breakfast, not yours. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. I am taking a regular pumpkin recipe and I'm going to see if I can make it become healthy. I'm just taking a regular old pumpkin spice, um, I mean pumpkin recipe, a regular old pumpkin, you know what I'm trying to say, a regular old pumpkin pancake recipe and I'm going to change it and make it on plan. Hopefully. What am I looking for? I'm looking for, what is this? This is not what I meant. That's not what I'm looking for. Good gravy. Oh, I was on the wrong page. There we go. Mm. I don't even know what I'm making, Tracy. You're right. I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. Um, I need half a cup of almond flour. Um, I am not using almond flour. I said almond flour, but I didn't mean almond flour. Well, good morning, Caitlin. You being an overachiever this morning or you just can't sleep, girl? Bonnie, I'm going to make a vanilla caramel chai latte today with tea. Have a tea today. It's tea day. It's Friday. You have tea on Fridays in this house. Actually, no, you don't. Usually I have coffee. And I'll regret it. But that's it. I'll get over it. Alright. This recipe calls for a cup of flour. I'm making half of what? Half of the amount they Okay, hold on. Let me start over. This is a recipe that I found online. For pumpkin pancakes that is not on plan it has flour and sugar and brown sugar i am going to turn it into my own pumpkin chocolate chip pancakes the only reason i'm looking at the recipe is because it's a guideline for amounts there now that i get that out of the way this calls for one cup of flour I'm using half a cup of almond. Oh. Way to confuse everybody. I'm using half a cup of baking blend. I'm making half the recipe and I'm not following the directions because I'm not making a sugary recipe. I'm making my own pumpkin pancakes. Gosh. All right. All for half a cup of pumpkin. I've got a quarter cup of frozen canned pumpkin right here. So I'm gonna thaw that out. Um, what else? They call for ginger, allspice, cloves, cinnamon. I'm gonna use pumpkin pie spice. <laughs> My good gracious. Excuse me. Oh. I don't know, Sarah. I'm a little struggling for words this morning, Bonnie. I think you're right. I probably should have gone with coffee. But, I don't know. I don't know why it's freezing and skipping. I don't know. I don't know. My Wi-Fi's on. Everything says it's good. I have full service. 
I'm gonna use a teaspoon, pumpkin pie spice. Maybe I'm moving around too much. Let me move more slow. Does that help? Probably not. Probably not. Get on there, cover. Get on there, what is your problem? out. Oh, still frozen. Still bad. All right. How do you adjust the quantity of baking blend to set for white flour? So, mm -hmm. Kind of fuzzy in my mouth. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, adjusting flour for baking blend. I don't know. They call for, yes, they are, Sarah. They're very good. They call for one cup of flour. I want to make half, so I'm half doing half baking blend. However, baking blend is a lot more dry than regular white flour. So, because it's more dry, I'm just going to add a little extra liquid. So when I get the all the ingredients in where I want them, I'll look at the texture. I go based on texture. Does it look like a cake mix or does it need more liquid? Does it look like pumpkin pancake mix or does it look like it needs more liquid? That's just how I do it. I don't know if it's right. It's probably not. All right, I've got pumpkin spice in there. I've got baking blend. I need baking powder. I need my rise negative. They call for half teaspoon. In their whole batch, I'm making half, so I need a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Look at that math. I'm telling you, I'm like a math whiz these days. I can turn a half into a quarter like that. I'm telling you. Seventh grade, eighth grade math is helping me out, y'all. It's helping me out. All right, they call for oil. Okay. Let's do avocado oil because it's already liquid and then I don't have to melt my coconut. I forgot to get this out. They call for two tablespoons, so I need one tablespoon, so about that much. Winging it cooking is the way to go. I'm telling you, it's the way to do it. Two tablespoons of almond milk. They call for a quarter cup. That means half is two tablespoons. This is where I think it's gonna, they call for milk, not almond milk. I think it's probably going to be too dry, but we'll see. They also have a tablespoon of sugar. So I need to do half that. And super sweet is twice. Wait, super sweet is twice as much sugar. So that would be two tablespoons of sugar. But I'm only doing half, so I need one tablespoon of, of super sweet. That got a little sketchy there. What did somebody say about groceries? I saw them. I missed the message. Y'all talk about gro- Yeah, they are insane, Sarah. They're crazy. Out of control. I'm going to the farm today to buy a bunch of delicata and I hope it's cheap for that reason. All right, I'm gonna put one egg. Tis my last egg. So let's hope this comes out all right because it's my last egg. So I can't try again. Someone might need to do a grocery pickup. I don't know who that someone is. All right, let's put my pumpkin in here. This looks like a lot of pancake for one person. That's okay. There's absolutely nothing bad in it, so I can eat it all. According to the recipe, this is enough for two people. But that's because they got sugar and flour and ugly fat and ugly stuff in it. And I've got healthy stuff, so I can eat it all.
state it looks more like a muffin batter. So I'm going to add, what's that all about? Stop it, KJ. I'm going to add some almond milk just to make it more runny, more like pancake batter instead of like cake. Farmer's Market, I found Delicata tonight. Swing by and get more. A dollar a squash. Holy moly, Sarah. Need to cook it up, freeze it. Wrap it up in paper, uh, to uh, not toilet paper. Don't wrap your delicata in toilet paper. Wrap your delicata in, in, what am I trying to say? Newspaper. And then store it in a cold place. I don't know if it works, but somebody said it would. Still not getting runny. It's just getting bigger. It's all, it's just getting bigger and bigger. It's not getting right here. So we're going to stop adding liquid, or I'm going to have enough for 64 pancakes. But that'll work. Looks like a good pancake batter to me. Let's get some chocolate chips. Marin, you put your fries in a place that I can't get at and drop the chips. You and your french fries, girl. You and your french fries. I'm telling you what. Alright. Oh, maybe a tablespoon. It's plenty. It's plenty. I want to go to the farmer's market here, but there's just so many people and I can't handle it. There's too many people. It stresses me out. I just, I can't, I can't do it. I, I'm going to have to pay more because I cannot go to the farmer's market with a hundred people breathing around me. Everybody thinks they need to breathe. I don't understand. Like, hold your breath. Don't you know we're in a pandemic? Not that my anxiety is out of control. No, it's not that. Not that at all. All right, let me get my pan going. You know, I'm not going to put pan in there. Supposedly, I don't need it in my pans. I'm obsessed with still putting pan in there, but you know, I'm told I don't need it and I'm told I need to stop it. So I'm going to stop it. I hope these come out all right. If they do, Tracy will put them on my website because Tracy's awesome and she puts things on my website. Yay, Faith! If you're in my coaching group, we're going to do okra next week. We're going to get our guts all going good. And by going good, I don't mean pooping. I do, but I don't. I mean we're going to heal our guts. And we're going to take on metabolism, bursting veggies. We're going to take them on and we're going to lose weight. Oh. So if you want to be part of a week-long okra, get it. Go sign up for my group coaching. Also, two weeks from tonight is the candy making class. So if you're interested, go sign up for that. The link for that's on my website as well. Or if you're interested in all of my ad hoc classes that are coming, I have five of them. If you're interested in those and you want a free seat or an included seat, if you want to be guaranteed a seat in every one of those, sign up for my ongoing group coaching and you'll get a seat in every one. All right. Slap that down a little, spread it out. It's not really runny like pancake batter, so I don't know. Just, you know, shape it like a pancake. You're cooking it in a pan. It's cake batter. Therefore, it's pancakes. Trust me, it, it just is. Here's hoping. That one's not gonna be shaped like a pancake because it's too big. Maybe the other one crooked. All right, let's make some tea, shall we? All right, let's make some, let's make, ooh, calm down. Let's make a chai latte. I've got, Vanilla caramel chai from Tazo. If you do not have this, you can use black tea and add vanilla and caramel extract and cardamom, and you will have vanilla chai latte. Easy as that. A little bit of every one. I'm going to use two bags because I'm extra. And I like being extra. And I need the caffeine. Is this caffeine fee? Oh, 
Oh, no, it isn't. I thought it said caffeine free. It says caffeine level. It's a three out of five. So it's all right. It's all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Let's turn it on. Let's do 12. Oh, that might be a bit much, but that's okay. I already hit the button. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. How do you stop this thing? Nope. I'm not making coffee. I'm making tea. So I need water, not coffee. <sighs> Let's do 10 ounces. Let's do 10 ounces. Oil. All right. That was almost bad news. I almost had coffee flavored tea. Right. Are you coming there, pancakes? You're not cooking at all. How come? The heat's on, right? Yeah. How come they're not cooking? Not even a little bit. Thank you, Tracy. See, it is trying to save me. You're right. You're right, Bonnie. It's my coffee maker saying, excuse me, but you need coffee. Y'all, I've been drinking Colombian coffee every day at four o'clock and then go to bed and wonder why I can't sleep. I don't. 4 p.m. pulling out the old Colombo Supremo. I think it might be the problem. Well. Is what it is. A girl needs her Joe. I don't need to get all crazy about washing it. I just washed it like two days ago. I'm just pouring new almond milk in there. It's okay. Bonnie the smart machine. You mean Bonnie the abomination machine? The coffee abominator? Yeah. I know, that's when I should be having my tea. Why are these not cooking? They're literally not cooking. Is it because I didn't put any fat in my pan? Turn down the heat, KJ. Turn up the fan, because they're gonna smoke. Why are they not cooking? They're like, just stay in batter. The batter's just like, hey, I'm just gonna hang out here and be batter. I'm not gonna turn into a cake today because I'm not in the mood. It's Friday and I need a day off, okay? So I might just have a pan of raw pumpkin batter. Sounds good, right? The burner's on. Although, I will say that there's fire there, but does that mean it's working? I don't know because my stove has not been working right. This burner right here won't light half the time. I think it might be time to buy a new stove before long. Oh darn, a new stove? Who wants that? I want a Viking. I'm not getting a Viking, but that's what I want. All right, it cooked. Thank you, Pancake, for cooking. I appreciate you. Oh man, KJ should have used a bigger pan. KJ didn't. Now I'm like double decorating my pancakes. I don't know. They don't look anything like pancakes. Who cares? Not me. Does anybody? I don't. Gas stoves are hard to come by down there? Oh, hard to find, you mean. To buy. Oh, they are hard to buy. They're hard to buy up here right now, too. They're wicked hard to find. You have to be, you can't be picky. You take what you get up here for stoves. I think that's everywhere right now. But I will heat my food on the grill from now to eternity if it means I don't have to have an electric stove. I hate electric stoves. I can't, I can't, no. I, I'm a diva when it comes to my stove. I can buy a Viking on Amazon. what I want. Then I'm gonna feel guilty. Do you guys listen to Ben Rector? Ben Rector has that song Range Rover and he's talking about a girl who he dated that was a gold digger and she said all she wanted was that Viking stove. Man, that's gonna make me feel guilty.
I ain't a gold digger. I just like fun things. All right, I think they're cooked. They don't look like pancakes. Not even a little bit. They look like piles of... I'm gonna spray a little Pam in there. It did not stick, but I feel like it needs the fat. It's only a little bit. I feel like it needs it to fry it. I think that's my problem is it didn't use fat. All you people saying, don't put ham in your pan. You need it. I need the fat. Ham just makes things better. She's a good girl. All right, let's try it. Yeah, that fit fine. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, they taste good. They look hideous. Does it matter that much? It really doesn't. All right, skip my chai. I'm gonna put that in the blender. Cause again, I'm extra. All right, let's plug this in. Okay, Brenda, it's your turn, girl. I need to flip that pancake. Cause see, that fat made it cook. No, it didn't. I lied. It's just smoking. It's just smoking. Why are you smoking? Stop your smoking. I'm burning my pan. Why do things just not ever go right? Why? Can I just make a recipe come out right once? Oh, come on now. Smoking, the house is gonna fill up the smoke over a pancake. A binder to put egg in there. They got egg in them. Oh, it tastes good. It's the baking blend. All right. It's baking blend. It's dry. Things don't get super stuck together well. I know, you're right, Cindy. I'm just having a pity party over here. Okay. Got the chai tea. This is a lot of pancakes. Should lay, like, I need to make them look pretty for the picture. If they taste good, even if they fall apart, I'm still gonna put them on my website and I'm gonna call them crumbly pumpkin pancakes. That fall apart, but taste good. Cause who cares what things look like? Who doesn't have to be pretty, right Bonnie Clap? All right, let's put some almond milk in there. Like, oh, half a cup. It's already vanilla caramel chai, but I'm gonna take it up a notch and add a little extra. extra caramel and I'm gonna add a little extra cardamom because I like it the cardamom if I can find it. Where do you think I put my cardamom the last time I used it? In this bucket of mess? Ooh. Yes, I know I need to organize my cabinets. I know. I know. What did I do with my cardamom? Okay, so maybe I'm not gonna add cardamom because I don't know where it is. A $17 bottle of cardamom gone missing. It's probably some spice thief came in my house last night, stole it, there it is. It's on the spice rack. Can you imagine putting a spice away on the spice rack? Who would have thunk? A little sprinkle of cardamom. Let's get my other crumbly pancake out of the pan in multiple pieces. All right. What else? 
what else? I'm going to put a little half and half in my chai to make it extra decadent. Oh, and I need sweetener. Duh. Stevia clear. I'm going to do three droppers full. You can put whatever you want. I like it sweet. So I'm doing three. I'm going to blend that baby up. I just like to. Oh, I forgot my brain food. I forgot my brain food. Gotta have my sunflower lesson then. Do da, do da. All right. Um, did I put protein in my pancakes? Oh, there's egg in there. I don't need any protein in my tea. I've got protein in my pancakes. Because why not? I don't know, Bonnie, why I said food needs to be pretty for the picture. Who cares? Does it really? Does it though? No. I didn't put nearly enough sweetener in these. These will not be going on my website. All right. I'm going to put, let's see, oh, I'm going to put plain sweetener in my foam and I'm going to make it caramel foam. Probably right, quarter teaspoon. Oh, I need my sunflower left. This is where my sunflower less thing goes. Listen, clearly I needed more brain food yesterday than I got. And I'm gonna put whey protein in there. Help it get fluffy. Shut off that fan because it's obnoxious and drive me crazy. A little bit of whey protein. Make a pretty foam to go on top. All right, turn that baby on. Plug it in first, because I unplugged it yesterday. To plug in my coffee grinder. I need another outlet for my coffee station. I got too many things plugged in over here. Oh, I can't, I can't reach. I can't reach. have too many bags of coffee. I don't know how that happens. All right, what? All right, I'm just reading your comments. You guys are killing me. All right, I'm putting away my cream. I'm gonna put my dirty dish in the dishwasher. Whoops, I didn't turn it on. machine do you think? I'll be over here being an idiot. I'm a little all over the place. I got coffee beans yesterday and I ground them and I had my first cup of fresh ground coffee and I'm telling you she was mighty good. Mighty mighty good fresh ground beans. All right. I have had a Dutch oven full of chicken guts and chicken bones in my fridge since Monday. Because Tuesday, I was going to make bone broth. And then I forgot. And now they have to go in the trash today. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Need some syrup. I could make a cream cheese like drizzle, but I ain't got time for all of that. I'm just gonna do syrup today because my pancakes are terrible anyway. They don't taste terrible, they're just hideous. So, <gasps> Dad! 
That's not my sugar-free syrup. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, well, crud. Crud. Well, I just lost half my pancakes. I can't believe I just did that. I grabbed the wrong syrup. You can just go back and delete this video, KJ. It's not very good. It's not very good. Okay, well, it's a good thing the pancakes aren't that great. Well, it's okay. It's really okay, because they're not that great anyway. I'm probably gonna need a little more than that <laughs> to cover the taste. You know what? I know what I can do to make it all better. Come here. I know what I can do to fix it. Bacon. Make, make it all better. Bacon fixes all the things. So we'll have bacon with it. All right. My tea. I might have to warm it up. Let's see, is it warm? I'm gonna warm it up. Ooh! That's delicious. I'm gonna pop that in the microwave. last of my bacon. Two slices left. Okay, that's the end of my bacon. I gotta make more bacon. I gotta wash that out. All right, well, there's my hideous breakfast. Yay! Ta-da! It happens. They're not horrible. They're just not very good. Oh, they're all right. Mm, they're actually all right with the syrup. That's because it's syrup. What can go wrong with syrup? I can't think of anything. All right, let's put my little foam on top. Caramel latte foam on top of that. Oop, don't overflow it, KJ. Now it's too hot to drink. You didn't miss anything, Meredith. I just made a terrible breakfast. It's not terrible. They're not horrible. They're not holding together. They're bland. They don't have a lot of flavor. They're not holding together. But the bacon's good. Oh, all that really matters. Right? No. You can't have any of my bacon. Thanks for asking, though. All right. Let's try the tea, shall we? It's like a thousand and one degrees, and I just lost top layer of my tongue. That's okay. That'll make for a good day. Let me try again, just to make sure it is as hot as I think it is. It's the way I encourage myself to get through them. It's the way I, you know, I gotta, I gotta work my way through. Do you really want a taste, Sebastian? Cause I'll give you a taste to make sure there's no chocolate in there. All right, come here. You're getting heavy, you know that? You might need to go on a diet, come here. Oh, he's all right with them. Yes, there's, they're safe. There's no dog's unfriendly ingredients in there. Don't worry. He's fine. <laughs> I give up. I just give up. I give up. All right, guys. That's it. There's how to make horrible breakfast. I added chopped apples, caramel extract, apple extract, cinnamon to the kids' pancakes. 
Well, Sarah, it's possible you should be the one making these videos because it sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. He is perfect just the way he is, Tracy. It's okay. They're terrible, but not terrible. They're awful, but not that great. They're not that bad, but they're they're raw in the middle. It's okay. I mean, you can't win them all. They're not that bad. Well, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. They're not too bad. All right, you guys, I won't die. That's right, Carrie, I won't die. I'll drink my chai. I'll cop, choke down my pumpkin pancakes. It's all right. I'm not going to waste them. I'm going to eat them. I'm going to gag a few times, but I have leftover fried rice for lunch, so it's all good. All right, you guys. I'm going to go to work. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed Friday. Stay on plan because, listen, Friday can be a hard day to stay on plan. I'm feeling a little off planning today. I'm feeling like I want pizza for supper that's not on plan. Feeling like I want some Doritos. I'm feeling very needy. I would, listen, if somebody walked by me right now with a Diet Coke, I would punch them square in the gut and say, give me your Diet Coke. And then I would take it. And if they didn't willingly give it up, I'd start attacking them. That's how I'm feeling right now. I would slap a nun just to get the Diet Coke out of her hand right now. That's how I'm feeling today. But listen, I'm not going off plan. Why would I want to? I have wonderful pancakes. That's right, Bonnie. Today I want them. I don't need them. That's the difference. I don't need them. I just... But I'm not going off plan today, no matter what, even though it's Friday and Friday is like the easy day to go off plan. Don't ask me why, just because it's Friday and it's an excuse. It's easy to say, oh, I'll go back Monday. But I'm not doing that, girl. I am staying on plan because there's no reason to go off plan. Even cravings, even your need to, you know, your desire to cheat does not mean you have to. Because I'm not going to. If I can get past beating up a nun for a Diet Coke, you can too. I just made order some Zevia today. All right. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed day today. Stay on plan. Comment hashtag replay if you're watching this after the fact. Like, share, subscribe. All that jazziness. And I will see you all back tomorrow. Listen. Tomorrow. Okay. I am going to make... A recipe that is floating around in my head it's been floating around in there all week I'm gonna wing it but I'm going to make s'more cheesecake bars with a graham cracker layer on the bottom no bake bars okay except we gotta bake the crust but that's beside the point maybe we won't bake the crust anyway 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 that doesn't matter I'm gonna make a crust and then I'm gonna make a cheesecake layer, a thin cheesecake layer, and then I'm going to put a layer of marshmallow on top of that, and then I'm going to put a layer of chocolate, like, fudgy ganache on top of that. I'm going to make s'more bars tomorrow, so you don't want to miss it. I'm hoping it will be somewhere around 10.30, so somewhere around there, and if it's not 10.30, it'll be another time. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Be good, love on your friends, love on your enemies, love on everybody. Just love on people today. They need it. All right.